Hey friends, welcome back to another video. My name is Emma Fave, and today is a quick video, but it's a good one because I am showing you how I edit my photos for my YouTube thumbnails as well as my Instagram photos. So let's jump in and get started. Okay friends, so today I'm going to show you how I take photos for Instagram and for my thumbnails and how I edit them to make them look nice and crisp and bright. So I had just finished this painting. Um, hopefully you guys saw the tutorial. And I'm about to take a photo of it for the thumbnail and for Instagram. So the key for me is good lighting. So I work in an office and by office I mean my walk-in closet. Hello, messy bedroom. Um, <laughs> and I have a really decent window and actually having it this open, I don't know if you can see the screen, it's really bright. It's like almost too bright at times. So sometimes I even close that and what I use are my studio lights. So my husband who is the tech nerd, he got me these lights which I will try to link below. So I have this big umbrella light that kind of um, illuminates the whole room and then I have two of these which honestly I don't really turn that one on very often because um, I get so much light from the window but I do use these two very often. Now before I had like really good lighting I would use my window and I would just open up the curtain so let me see if I can just show you. <laughs> my curtains are open and you can see that we have this brighter setup okay so good lighting is key. You don't want it to be too sunny or too warm. Um, overcast is almost kind of best sometimes, not where it's like too dark, but just bright enough. And then I will set up my, my scene. Typically what I do, because my desk is so messy, as you can see, um, I, I will show you how I edit that out. So I will take a photo like this for my, my, um, thumbnails like that usually on an angle so I'll have the text part here um, and then if I'm doing an Instagram photo I might do it straight on but a lot of this is editing in post so I'm going to show you how to do that so let me take a photo of this and then I'll show you how I edit on my iPad okay so before I actually bring it over to my iPad there's a few editing tricks that you can do on your phone alone if you don't have an iPad um, which I know is the case for a lot of us so I have an iPhone so this is going to be specific to the iPhone but if you have an Android I'm sure it will be very similar so I like to edit my photos just through the photo app so I'll go up to the top I'll go to edit and then here you can scroll and do all these little things to your photos I like to first brighten all my pictures up because they're gonna have um, this like shadowy almost either either warm tint to it or a blue tint to it so I like to bring the brightness all the way up so it gets as white as possible in the background and then depending on the conditions that you took your photo in so say it was like a really overcast kind of chill day and there's like a bluish tint to your photo like the background paper you might want to use the warmth tool and just bring it up a little bit to be a bit warmer and that will neutralize the paper in the background to make it a little bit more white. Or if it's a little bit too warm already, maybe the sun was out, you can make it a little bit cooler by bringing that warmth down. So it's totally up to the conditions that you took your photo in, but that to me makes a big deal. And then the other tool I tend to use is the black point. Um, just to make things a little bit sharper and deeper, I will up that black point, not to any specific uh, number for the brightness or the black point or the warmth. I just kind of look at my photos and see what it needs. And those are kind of the main tools I use through the photo editing app. And then once I'm finished there, I'll save it. So done and it's saved. And then I'll go to in the Instagram app and then I might even do a few more edits. Okay, so now I'm on the Instagram app. <laughs> There's my pictures of my, my son. Um, and I have the photo that I already edited. So say I want to edit it just a bit more. I wanted to brighten it up just a little bit more. I don't really use filters because I feel like it alters the colors of the painting way too much. But what I like to do is I might again brighten it up with the brightness tool depending like there's some white flowers in here so I don't want to lose those light colors completely. But if it was like a darker photo or darker florals I might brighten it up again. Um, I don't really use contrast. Again, I might use warmth to neutralize that paper depending on the color of the background. And sometimes if it's 
not as sharp as I'd like it to be, I might sharpen it just a bit, just to get some of those really beautiful textures from the watercolor or the watercolor paper. So that's kind of all I do to edit my photos without any specific apps, like photo editing apps, just with my phone alone. But when I'm doing my thumbnails, uh, I will show you how I do that on my iPad. Okay, so here's my iPad. I have the iPad Pro from a couple years ago, and my favorite app to use is Procreate, which is this one down here. So I'm just gonna go into Procreate. I've already selected my canvas, which is um, the same width and length for a YouTube thumbnail. And I'll go in and I'll import my photo. So I go to the little wrench here, add, insert photo, and then pick the photo that I just took. Okay, so I know it's a little hard to see. Let me see if I can turn my lights off so it's not so bright. And I'm actually just gonna turn it back this way. Okay, so I know it is a little bit hard to see, but what I actually do, and it looks really bright on screen now, um, it's actually not in real life. What I like to do is I like to obviously erase all of this. Um, and sometimes if the, the paper just seems a little bit dull, one of my tricks of what I actually do is I'll I select plain white and I'll take the color, got my pencil, and I'll take it and I'll drag it over to the white of the paper and it immediately brightens it up. Now I know that looks insanely bright on screen. It's not as bright in person, but that's one thing I do sometimes to brighten up the picture in general. It doesn't um, make the whole picture white, but it brightens up those white areas. The trick is don't take the white and drop it on a dark part because then that's when that happens. You wanna drop it in the whitest part of the paper. So take that color, and drop it there and it just immediately brightens it. That's kind of my biggest trick with this. And then what I'll do is I need to erase this. I don't like to make it um, a super harsh line. So what I use is the soft brush and I'll make it just like about 7% and I'll start to erase the background. So when it gets closer to the paper line, it's not like this really um, structured stop it kind of just starts to fade out a bit and then you can almost like really lightly go over some of the paper if it's a little bit gray um, and you can just make it really really light with really light pressure and that's kind of how I do that so then I will go to the little wrench again and I will add my text I'm gonna select my color black and I will type the title of the video I usually do it in all like bold cap lock then I will you know change the font to something maybe make it bigger and that's kind of it that's how I make my thumbnails um, and then for Instagram what I'll do is all I'll do is I'll take this exact photo and I will just um, crop it into a square and then there's my photo for Instagram as well so my biggest tips for creating a nice bright white crisp photo is good lighting so buy a window not where the sun is shining on it but there's a decent enough um, source of light um, if you do have artificial lights i will link them below of what i use um, but they're not a necessity i've been doing this for a long time and for the longest time i just used um, the light for my window and then i really love this app to help me with this. And I know that there's so many other photo editing apps that people use, but I find dropping that little white part <laughs> really, really helps brighten up my photos. Just again, don't drop it on a dark part. You gotta, you gotta drop it in a white area and make sure you are on that layer of the picture. But that's kind of my secret. So I know this was a very short video, but I hope it was informative um, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on all my other platforms for tons more content. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.